and the monkeys. Let me just put uh, my camera on so you can all see me as well. Um, okay, so good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Before we before we commence, uh, I hope uh, you are all well. Uh, I hope your friends and family are all well during this difficult phase. Um, so yes, um, obviously, uh, good wishes are with you. So just before we can, before we commence, if you have any questions that you would like to ask, if you can actually post it within the, the chat window. Um, we have my colleagues with me today, Jay and Hyson. So we can take questions both in English and in Arabic. So if we if we if we see any questions that we need to answer immediately, we will try and answer them immediately. But most of the questions will be answered uh, at the end of the presentation. Around 30 to 40 minutes is the presentation. So we will we will commence. So this is myself. Um, I've been in the region now for, for 10 years, originally from the UK. Um, the, the One of the positive things here when I've been in the UAE is uh, all my experience is, is in the education field. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm quite knowledgeable when it comes to the education sector. Uh, so the last decade has all been into education. So what we're going to talk about today, so we're going to talk a little bit about the IMA, the association behind the CMA. Uh, the types of careers that are in management accounting, you know, what are you going to expect from being certified and you climbing up the corporate ladder? Uh, some of the steps to becoming a, a CMA, the, the membership benefits are, are very, very important because we are not just about the certification. We provide a lot, a lot more for, for students to, to kind of, you know, build their experience and learn new skills. We will also finish off with the with the human touch as well. Okay, so what is what is IMA? So we've just celebrated, or we're into our hundred and first year. So we're an association that has been going hundred years, and you would have to agree with me, ladies and gentlemen, that any organisation that is into their hundredth year is, you know, it's it's, it's very marvellous. It's, it's good. It's amazing. We are very very. Um, a credit credible when it comes uh, to the accounting association and the CMA. So we have 130,000 members worldwide approximately, and this is changing uh, all the time. Now there's a story behind the 130,000 members. So if you look at 10 years ago, all our members were in the US because just like the some of the certifications that we have, this is a US-based certification. And now if you look at 10 years forward, we are basically uh, around the world. So we're not just our members and CMAs are not from US. The rest of the world uh, has all our members and CMAs around. So we have offices uh, in China, Singapore, Europe. We have it in Dubai. And inshallah, the next office that we're looking at is uh, in KSA, specifically in Riyadh. Um, so this, the CMA credential is, is basically within the IMA. So the IMA is the association behind the CMA. So we are the we are the association that has all the rights to use the CMA brand. Here we are. This is our global presence when it comes to offices. Um, so we are we we are pretty much everywhere, and, and I think we are still looking uh, quite seriously also to having an office back in Cairo. So once everything settles down, then we will uh, we will be in Cairo inshallah as well. So let's let's just look at the careers in management accounting. It's, it's very very diverse. You know, a, a management accountant is can be in private firms. It can be entrepreneur. It could be in education. It can be in academia. It could be into consultancy. So having a CMA within an organisation is vital. You know, a CMA is not just there to provide numbers. They are there to run the show, making sure the organisation reaches its strategic values uh, and goals and this only goes with having a CMA that can direct them where they need to be. So this is why it's fundamental for a CMA to be in an organisation and you would agree and once I go through my presentation a lot of the roles uh, are being automated at the moment. So you will you will already know this as well a lot of the the kind of the roles that doesn't take kind of too much thinking is being automated by, by ro robots at a very, very uh, fast pace with pretty much 
accuracy as well. But uh, the certification itself, it's it used to be have it used to be a plus. But now when you talk and you speak to recruiters, having a professional certification like the CMA, CPA, ACCA, it shows that the individual has got the right motivation, characteristics to succeed. So you need to look and have that side by side with with your undergraduate degree. So if, if it's something that you are you are thinking of, you've already got it, you've got the scholarship, which we'll go into a bit more detail, you seriously need to, to think about it. And now so more with with the with the pandemic. Um, just recruiters are, are looking and, and wanting more from, from their employees. So when you look at the management accounting um, and you look at the CPA, because this is a kind of a common question, so you will all know that CPA is more for compliance, audit, taxation. You know, if you are going to possibly go down the CPA route, then you need that to uh, to enter into the big four. However, as I said about the management accountant, it's there to drive the, the uh, company uh, to reach its strategic goals. You know, you need to understand where marketing is, you need to understand what finance is, what HR is doing, what procurement is doing. You are leading and you're communicating at the top of the organisation. This is when you start climbing up the corporate ladder. So it, the CMA certification teaches you to think analytically and be a problem solver as well. So you need to be understanding that this is something that you need to work towards. And, and don't get me wrong, as you can appreciate and as you would agree with me, ladies and gentlemen, any certification that you do is not easy. You know, it's not something that easy. However, it's something that you have to invest your time. Your education is not a depreciation asset. So if you buy a car from a garage, you will lose 20% as soon as you drive it out of the car, out of the showroom. However, with your education, it only goes up with time. So this is an investment in your career. The great thing about uh, accountants and, and auditors over the next kind of few years, they're in good demand. Um, there's going to be an increase, which is which is wonderful. You know, for my own personal kind of point, um, a successful organisation has to have uh, the two most important, according to me, is accounting, uh, finance department, and you've got the HR. If if these two departments uh, are running well in synchronisation and they're looking after the organisation, the organisation will 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 do very well. But that's my own personal choice. You might agree, agree or disagree with me. So again, this is a, a very small quote, nothing is, for, nothing is forever except change. And I would like now to just share with you something that I find very, very powerful. I want you to just have a look at this, look, these pictures, and I know exactly what you're thinking as well. Some of you may, may be uh, too young to even, you know, maybe use some of these, but if you look at these old companies, you had Nokia, you had the BlackBerry, you had, you had Kodak, so all these particular companies were very, very successful in their time. They were extremely successful. However, there's one thing that they did not do, or maybe they didn't think they had to do, is innovate. Now, all, this, all these particular pictures that you can see now is all in one device. And this is the organizations that have innovated and they've come by and they've taken over these uh, small well, they weren't small companies, they were actually big companies in their time, but they did not improve themselves. And, and you're probably thinking, well, why am I showing this slide to you? Well, this is actually very similar to, to you guys and, and, and myself as well. It's all about continuously thinking and improving yourself. How do I stay out? How do I stand up from the crowd? How do I make myself more employable? So this is a very, very powerful slide that shows that these particular companies, you know, many years ago, these were very successful companies. However, they thought they may have got complacent, thinking, okay, we don't need to, we don't need to innovate, we don't need to think, because we're the only kind of phone, or the BlackBerry, or the Kodak, or the Walkman. However, it all changed, didn't it? Because there were other companies willing to innovate and continuously change everything to come up with some wonderful devices that can do everything in, in one particular device. So this is something that is very powerful that you need to think about how you're going to change and how you're going to make your career even more successful. You know, you're going to a great university, you want to complement that by doing 
and having the professional certification like the CMA to make you to make you stand out for something that you need to take uh, into consideration. These are some of the uh, organisations uh, that are training their staff. So we've got some big big companies. These are not all organisations. We we have uh, CMAs everywhere, uh, from multinational to to SMEs as well, uh, to uh, entrepreneur as well, um, companies. So this is only just a very small uh, number of, of companies. And these again, these are just CMAs within organizations. Again, this is just a small footprint to show you, to, to give you that, uh, how, how global the certification is. <clears throat> so let's just talk about the, the steps to uh, becoming certified. And, you know, what you, what you need to be thinking of, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is you need to be thinking about investing in your career you know, with a professional certification. You know, nowadays, unfortunately, undergrad and MBA is sometimes just not enough. You need something else that can show the employer that this person has got the right char characteristics, they are willing to improve themselves, they are not willing to stop just because they have an, an undergrad, an MBA, they, they really want to challenge themselves. And this is the thing in life, especially as students, you need to challenge yourself. If you if you believe that you have enough, wonderful, but if you stop, there are other people that will, that will obviously uh, be, be improving themselves. You know, what happens, you know, when... Uh, uh, you know, if you look, uh, the, there's uh, uh, an example of a, of a ship, and the ship is very, very small, and a big wave comes and uh, takes over the ship because it's small. It doesn't obviously improve themselves. So this is just some, some of the benefits of the of the certification. So it creates clear opportunities, absolutely. And these are just a few of them, which I will go into a lot more detail on the other side as well. So it's, again, it's all about strengthening your kind of job job security as well. No, don't forget as well, when you become or when you go through the CMA certification, you are showing the employer that you've gone through the same process as anybody around the world. Whether you're studying in Egypt, you're studying in Dubai, you're studying in uh, KSA, you're studying in the US. You are, you are doing, you're going through the rigour of the same examination. So it doesn't say that you are studying from Egypt, it comes, your certificate comes from the US has a positive impact on your salary <clears throat> and also you can see improvements in yourself within the organization you can be um, you can improve yourself you can get that all important promotion quite quickly these are some some other benefits as well um, yes you're telling the uh, recruiter that you've gone through a, a very very challenging a computer based exam it's not easy. Uh, you need to manage your time. You need to be focused. You need to be motivated. You need to be determined. But again, the rewards are amazing as well once you go through the entire process. Um, I did mention about, you know, that you need to uh, stand out. You, you've got a better chance of, of being noticed. You know, when you're in a, you're going in a mall and you, you know, you go past the shop, you only go inside the shop if you see something nice in the shop window. So that's about getting noticed. So this is something to have on your have on your CV to making sure that when it reaches the recruiter, they are looking at your CV in great, great detail. And again, we talked about the competencies, we talked about the motivation to succeed. Um, now, the great opportunity on promotion. So when you put an example where if you're a CMA holder, you have got a, a far better chance of having or have, uh, gaining a promotion within the organization from a non certified holder because the knowledge the competences the analytical way you you solve your problem solve would be far greater from a non-cma holder so you need to be thinking of all these aspects and, and ladies and gentlemen these are only a few they, they are not all of them because there, there are so many but i wanted to to share with you the most uh, uh, important ones and, and this is a global certification as well so you may be uh, you want to uh, maybe want to try try your uh, look elsewhere as well outside of Egypt. Again, these these are these are open to you. <coughs> so this is the CMA exam structure. So the good thing about this the CMA as well, this is not something new. 
you are already studying a lot of these topics at your university. This is not something that you do not have any knowledge. You have knowledge, whether you go for part one or whether you go for part two. So this knowledge is there with you. You're studying within the university. However, this requires a more rigorous effort, several probably hours a week to basically focus on, on and preparing for each exam. If you are more, if you feel that your strength is in part two, you go for part two. If you feel you want to go for part one first, you go for part one. However, that is entirely your choice. But do prepare yourself for the four hour exam. Um, it's three hours of MCQs. You need 50%. Uh, then to go on to the essay questions. So there's two essay questions and you get one hour to answer two essay questions. The good thing about the essay questions, the examiner is, is checking your your ability to understand the question. The essays are not there to check your spelling or grammatical, uh, your grammar mistakes. So long as you have a good understanding of the essay questions, and long as you, you can show the examiner that you've answered the essay question to the best of your ability and you've got the understanding correct, then you would get the desired uh, results. So we're not, they're not there checking for your, for your English. But when, when it's about preparation side of it, you need to be making sure that you are practicing your MCQs on a regular basis and do try to do this under exam conditions. Uh, I did speak to a young student some weeks ago and I said, how did you practice? He said, uh, I practiced in my room. I said, where was your phone? He said, it was with me. I said, did you have any disturbance? He said, yeah, many disturbances. So I said to him, I said, how did you, how did you practice then? So on a serious note, if you are going to practice, make sure you do it within exam conditions as much as you can. You don't have a phone and for three hours you are going through the MCQs and timing yourself how many you kind of, uh, how, what percentage you're getting. And please do not be frightened to answer something that you're not 100% sure. Do not leave a question out. You do not get less mark, you do not get marked down for answering incorrectly. However, you do get marked down if you do not answer because you may get it right. So that is something just very briefly to, to basically take into consideration. When you're doing this exam, answer all the questions. Don't leave any, any gaps at all. You answer everything. If one particular question is taking longer than expected, leave it and come back to it. Don't spend too much time because again, it's uh, three hours for, for 100 MCQs. Now the CMA has actually been going for over 50 years now um, and as an organization, the Institute of Management Accountants, we are also very innovative and we are always thinking of how to keep the CMA relevant. This is not something that we decide, we actually reach, we reach out to our, our members globally, our CMAs to understand, okay, how do we keep on making sure that the CMA certification is absolutely relevant now we're in a a kind of a digital age. So we've actually proceeded and for uh, 2020, we've added a, a piece on technology and analytics. And I did mention about robots uh, automating and some of the jobs that are, are taking over, absolutely. But if you look at technology now, especially in, in your life, ladies and gentlemen, being young students, it's gonna be there and it's only gonna get more enhanced as well. So you guys need to embrace this, need to be ready for it. You need to be looking at the challenges ahead, making sure that you are knowledgeable in these particular fields. Because it's not, again, what I mentioned about, it's not just providing the numbers, it's running the show within the organization. And this, this part of the technology and analytics complements actually what is going on in the world over the last kind of five years. And in the last three years, I would say technology has, has increased rapidly. So this is something new, uh, it's here to stay, it's only going to increase. Welcome it with open arms, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and give it your best, and, and make sure that you do not look at this and think, okay, I don't have the, you know, I'm not really focused, or I, I'm not really have the, have the skills or the knowledge or anything like that. These skills, knowledge, they can be learned. You have to invest your time. So this is something that you need to be mindful of, the technology and analytics. We've introduced it, and that was on the basis of the keeping the CMA relevant. 
We've also added a, a more on the on the professional ethics side as well. So again, you would have to uh, answer a number of questions on the on the ethics. So do be mindful of that. <clears throat> so the program requirements. Okay, so the program requirements for the CMA as a as a student. You now we do get a lot of questions to say, well, do I need to graduate? You know, do I need to have several years of experience? Now what we say is you can actually you can actually do the CMA side by side with your undergrad. Maybe not in your first year, maybe not in your second year, depending on your competency level. And then you can start the, the CMA, CMA journey. You have to pass both parts of the CMA within a three year period. Now you're probably thinking, okay, if I, if I, if I pass both parts of the CMA, can I become certified? Uh, and the answer is no, you cannot, not at the moment. But what we do is we provide seven years from when you pass your your uh, your final exam to provide us with two years of relevant work experience and to provide your undergraduate degree. What you also need to take into consideration, you need to have an active IMA membership. Now, what we can also do, uh, because you're probably thinking, okay, well, if I'm going for a job interview, you know, how can I show the recruiter that I've passed? We can provide you with, it, it's called the, we can provide you with a transcript that you success, successfully passed part one and part two of the CMA. So you can actually say to the recruiter, yes, I've passed both parts. All I'm waiting for now is to fulfill my two years of relevant work experience and provide IMA with my undergraduate degree. So this is something that you, that you can do there. And you are probably thinking, okay, uh, I've passed everything, I've given my undergraduate degree, uh, I've given my two years relevant work experience, okay, I can sit back and relax and there's nothing else to do. I'm sorry, but that is not the case as a CMA. So all CMAs uh, globally, they are required to have 30 hours of continuous professional training in a way. So we know that our CMAs globally, are in, they are basically at the forefront of knowledge. So this is 30 hours and two two hours of professional ethics. So this is every single year that you need to do this as a CMA. All CMAs would need to go through this cycle of continuously improving. So whether you're a young CMA, whether you're a, a, a mid-career CMA, or whether you're a very senior CMA, everybody has to go through this 30 hours every single year. So again, this is something that you need to be mindful of. The journey is 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 nice, it's tough, um, but it's only as tough as what you, how much effort you put in. You put limited effort, it will become slightly tougher for you. You put in a lot of effort, then you will see how, how things progress for you very, very quickly and how easy it is for you. So these are the exam testing. Um, at the moment, due to COVID, uh, we have been working with local governments uh, around the region to making sure that uh, Everybody is following the, the local government rules in certain countries, so we've had to uh, sometimes extend the exam windows or not have many seats. But uh, inshallah, that will change hopefully with uh, with with COVID hopefully subsiding over the next few months. So there's three three opportunities uh, in the year: Jan, Feb, May, June, and September, October. And like I said, you can take any any part in any order, part one or part two, whichever you like. Um, but you have to pass both parts within three years. This is this is very very important. Okay, so you need to pass both of the CMA papers within a three year window. Okay, so uh, Hyson, is it possible I could just hand it over to you for uh, for a couple of minutes just to explain this slide yes, and sure, the registration sure, process? Sure. Yeah. Thank you so thank much. You, thank you. Yes. I will explain that in Arabic, okay, Rishi? Is that okay? Sure, sure. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. No, no. Well, as you feel, as you feel. Uh, all right, all right. Mas al khair, jamaa. I'm Haytham, Zamir Rishi from Maktab Dubai. Just the slide that we talked about the 50% discount, okay, that we have in our country, okay. We have our regular members. If you want to see in the first slide, which is 230 dollars, plus 15 dollars, which is the processing fee. Of course, if you want to apply, and we have a special price for the students, so the price after the discount will be 19 dollars, 
تمام ده طبعا بيفرق لان الطلبه احنا بما عارفين ان لسه ما فيش مصدر دخل ليهم والكلام ده كله فالبرايس بيختلف فهيبقى 19 دولار ده للممبر شوب السنويه افري يير تمام بالنسبه للحاجه الثانيه في حاجه اسمها السي ام اي انترنس فيز دي بتبقى تمنها للريجولر ممبرز اللي هم البروفيشنالز اللي اتخرجوا 250 تمام انما بالنسبه لكم انتوا هتبقى 94 اوكي بالنسبه لكل اكزام بارت احنا عندنا تو بارتس تمام كل بارت المفروض ان هو بيبقى ثمنه 415 وبعد الديسكاونت هيبقى 155 للطلبه تمام بالنسبه انتوا عندكم الديوريشن اللي انت المفروض تخلص فيها الاكزام المفروض ثلاث سنين ان انت تخلص فيها بارت 1 بارت 2 يعني انت يو نيد تو باس بارت 1 اند بارت 2 within 3 years once you pay the cm entrance اللي هي ثاني حاجه دي تمام uh, انت يو هاف 3 years to complete part 1 uh, and part 2 ف لو انت في سنه ثالثه او انت في سنه ثالثه او رابعه او حتى ثانيه تمام تقدروا انتوا تستفيدوا من الديسكاونت ده لان انت uh, once you uh, finish the يعني your studies انت هتدفع uh, الفول برايس تمام للبروفيشنال وساعتها حتى لو انت بيبقى في اغلب الوقت صعب ان انت بتلاقي uh, شغل بعد ما تخلص الجامعه على طول فالافضل ان انت تستخدم الديسكاونت ده طول ما انت في الجامعه uh, uh, وريش از ويل برضه هو يعني هي منشنت ان انت يو هاف 7 ييرز تو كومبليت يور ورك اكسبيرينس تمام ف اتس اتس ا لونج تايم ان انت تو سبمت يور ورك اكسبيرينس اند اولسو يعني لو انت اف يو نيد ترانسكريبت يعني ليتس سي ان انت خلصت مثلا بارت 2 بارت 2 بارت 1 وبارت 2 وانت لسه في الجامعه وحابب ان انت يعني تو ابلاي على جوب او اي حاجه احنا بنبعت لك زي proof ان انت uh, you already passed part 1 or part 2 تمام يعني احنا لو انت محتاج if you need any supporting documents مثلا ال HR او كده ان انت you pass one of the parts or, or uh, the two parts احنا we can support you تمام قبل ما تاخد ال certificate نفسها تمام uh, انا برضو يعني if uh, any of the attendees uh, have any questions uh, because um, uh, Rishi I, I already explained the 50% discount Um, just we can open it now if one uh, any of the candidates wants any uh, more information. Uh, okay. okay. So is there any? Sorry, I can't see the questions uh, in the chat yes. box. Is there any? Is there any questions there? <clears throat> So, بالنسبة لل ال admission أنت بتعمل apply من خلال ال website بتاع ال IMA. في ال slide اللي هو ال Rishi مفتوح دلوقتي في اللي هو number four www.imanet.org. Okay. اللي أنت بتعمله أنت بتخش على صفحة ال IMA. You just need to create a profile. Okay. And you will fill out all the information. وبعد كده بتدفع للستودنت ممبر شيب وبتشتري كل حاجه زي ما هي موجوده بالترتيب. ريشي از ات بوسيبل لايك وي كان سند ذا ستبس فور اول ذا اتنديز هو اتندت اف وي هاف ذا انفورميشن سو وي كان سند ذا ستبس هاو تو ريجستر فور ذا ستودنت ممبر شيب هاو تو ريجستر فور ذا اكزام ذا سي ام انترست. يا ذات وود بي ا جود ايديا سو اي ثينك وات وي كان دو وي كان سند ات تو Dr. Halal and Dr. Mohammed, and they can they can send it to to all the students that registered and anybody yeah. that's also uh, interested. Well, because I'm uh, sure that Andrew asked this question. Maybe some of the other candidates wants as well to apply. So we yes, can share it to absolutely. all the candidates how to pay the membership, how to, and as well uh, you can leave as well my contacts uh, and the IMA Middle East as well contacts. So if any of the candidates has any future questions, they can contact me or they can contact the office. I think uh, this will be as well uh, helpful for them. Uh, yeah, absolutely. This is, this is fine. No problem. Thank you, Haisim. Is there any other questions? Yeah, I mean, I can, uh, it's just, uh, I will write my email here in the chat, okay? Sure, sure. So, and uh, Haisim, also the, the number for the WhatsApp as well, if that's, uh, that could be an idea. Yeah. 
So shall I shall I proceed? Shall I carry on? Yeah, yeah, you can carry on. I will write my email address and I will write the uh, WhatsApp number as well. Thank you, Hassan. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so thanks to Hyson for explaining uh, that particular slide. We will we will share some more details with you. Um, these are the study options when it comes to the, the CMA. You've got obviously Wiley, Glime, you've got Becker, PRC, you've got Hawk. So what you need to do, you, what you need to decide, ladies and gentlemen, is is which which um, material you're going to choose, which which material you're going to choose to basically get you through the CMA. You know, one of the things that you have to understand is you, all these particular kind of re review materials for the CMA, they're, they're, all, they're all excellent, but you need to do your own research to, to find out which one you're going to go for. What I would suggest is once you choose your review material, please make sure you stay with your review material for both parts of the CMA exam. Don't try and change your review material because this may confuse you because each author of these books may be writing in a different style of how to get the right answer, which may be different from Wiley, it may be different from Glime, it may be different from PRC. So whichever material that you choose, please do stay with the, the same uh, review material until you pass both parts of the exam. This is your certification. This is what the certificate will look like. Um, there's there's no difference of you studying in Egypt. This is a uh, coming from the U.S. and it's a wonderful certification. So, inshallah, your name is 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 there in the next uh, few years for sure. Um, and you know it can be achieved. It can be achieved, achieved with dedication, uh, hard work, and motivation. Absolutely. So I want to talk about the the student kind of benefits now. Uh, you know, joining with the IMA. One of the one of the things that is is different when it comes to the the association. We are we are not just here about the CMA. CMA is is our is is our certification. However, we we try and complement students with other skills. And what I would like to share with you is this is one of the competitions that we have, um, and it's all about management accounting. And it's called Ace the Case. So I'd like to just give you a little bit of inside information. So Ace the Case, or the Student Case Competition for IMA, has been running now for around seven around seven years. Okay. So what you would need to do, you would need to come together as a team between three and five. Uh, nobody in their final year. It should be uh, anybody that's in the team should not be in the final year of uh, their undergrad or MBA. And there can be up to 50% of MBA students within the team. And one of the things that we've done as an association of the innovation, we've really stretched the boundaries for this case. So what's going to happen is there's going to be teams from Middle East uh, and India. So the top teams will, will actually have a local final uh, with the team from the Middle East and with two teams from India. And the winning team from Middle East and India will then showcase their expertise with a team from IMA Europe and IMA Singapore. The final, final event, the grand final, will be held in July 2021 with everything being okay with COVID. And this is going to be an all expenses paid trip for the winning team, including mentor. So it's a wonderful opportunity to really learn about a particular case and how to articulate that and how to present that in front of uh, a panel of uh, professionals. So this is something that you're going to have to invest your time again, but it's a learning, it's a learning curve. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, when you join a corporate world, you cannot choose who your team are. You have to work with any team that or any team member. This is in a controlled kind of environment. You can choose your team. You can work with your professor to understand, you know, which is the best team that we're going we're gonna to put out from the university. You can have multiple teams, but this is open, and the closing date is the 31st of January. We do have time, for sure, but you would need to start very, very soon. You can get further information from the IMA Middle East, uh, which has the, the case and the terms and conditions, which you can download as well. So... 
you know, do look at this. It's very, very interesting. You know, last year we had, you know, in excess of, you know, 35 plus teams just from the Middle East. So we know we're going to be with the Middle East and India. I would say this could be in excess of plus 80 teams at least. So you're going to be kind of sharing your knowledge and expertise with major universities uh, around uh, Middle East uh, and India. And then we're going to have a grand, grand final against a team from Europe and a, and a team from Singapore. So please uh, do look at this. This is what we actually uh, provided to the winning teams last year. Um, it was a winning team actually from uh, Egypt, uh, JUC. Uh, they, they came runner-up for, for last year's competition. And the winning place was from SPGN in Dubai. The, the actual prizes are slightly different for the 2021 case, but we are giving there are a lot more prizes in there. So, you know, please do have a look at it because it's a very, very, very exciting competition and also a very, very exciting case. The case itself will will really get your mind working and, and thinking, OK, how do we how do we put our kind of uh, information in a, in, a, in a way where we we know how to you know answer the case question? So definitely look at this. Okay, so the, this is the, the, the scholarship that I would like to talk about. And, and Dr. Mohammed, you know, did say that, you know, a number of students at the university have got the scholarship. Um, however, they, 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 you're not too sure where to, you know, what the next steps are. So the next steps are is, is to look at some study material. Um, definitely you need to do that because one thing that the, the scholarship does not provide is it doesn't provide you with any study material or books like we showed why we showed Wiley PRC Glime. it doesn't provide any kind of review material books what it does provide it provides you with three years of membership we cover both parts of the CMA exam one time in your scholarship we give you the Wiley CMA online test bank this is good to keep on practicing the exam the MCQs Okay, so this is this is great, um, and the exam support package which you get. So what the next step is for the scholarship recipient, so anybody looking to pursue the CMA, is understand how you're going to prepare yourself for your the next exam window or the one of the exam windows next year. So you need to provide, you need to get the books. If you want to look on our website, there are course providers in Cairo that you can actually contact directly to see what they're going to be kind of charging you for, for studying the, the both parts of the CMA. As you can appreciate, majority, if not all, the teaching is, is by webinar. So it depends on your style as a student. If you can teach yourself, then you can get the books and you can kind of go through the process quite quickly. However, if you want to get taught by a, um, a CMA trainer, um, then you would need to obviously choose that route. So there's two routes. Either you get a, um, a trainer-led session or you can self-study. But the next step for the scholarship recipients is looking at some form of material so you can start to prepare for the CMA and, uh, inshallah, you can go for the exams you know, next year or when you feel prepared. But do always note that you only get three years. Three years is, is enough time to, to, pass, to pass the programme. So I wanted to share that with you because Dr. Mohammed did say before uh, in his in his opening kind of uh, speech about you know what is the next step. So that is that is the next step for you. <clears throat> again, we again this doesn't stop here. Your learning doesn't stop here. We also provide uh, something that is called the Leadership Academy, which is purely for our members. So Leadership Academy is, is not just about enhancing your your technical skills. We are they're there to enhance your soft skills. You know, the certification itself is good on the on the CMA side, the technology, the analytics, but you need to complement that by showcasing your soft skills. This could be communication, team working, um, you know, structuring yourself an email, you know, how to position certain kind of communication within an organization. The good thing about our courses is they are there in the Leadership Academy. You can go back to our courses th up to three years. We do have a lot of uh, tips on CMA series as well, how to prepare for the CMA exam, what to do before and night before the actual exam. So this is something, again, that is purely, purely, purely there for our members. 
it's Leadership Academy. We have many, many courses. We have some paid courses, uh, and we do offer some paid courses free of charge every now and again, which would sometimes get publicized. So again, you're not just joining the, the organization for the CMA. We're giving you the knowledge to really increase your knowledge and make you kind of stand out and, and go through an entire process. So we have, we have everything for you. This is also something as well uh, for our members, Career Driver. So you're probably thinking, well, what is, what is Career Driver? Well, Career Driver helps you prepare for the role that you want. So basically what the Career Driver can do, it can evaluate your current skill and it can come up with a personalized development plan. So what would happen is you would choose anything from, we have around 50 accounting, accounting and finance roles there. And it will provide you with knowledge on what type of areas that you need to focus on to basically go for a, a finance manager or a junior accountant or something like that. So this would provide you with, with feedback. It kind of gives you a total career path. Okay? So I mentioned about the, the job titles. Um, and this is this is there to provide you with the details of, and knowledge, so you can you can basically motivate yourself for that particular role. So it's it's kind of what can I say? It's kind of your kind of mentor in, in as a as a, a kind of a tool. So this is something that you can you can use going forward. You can use it immediately. The scholarship recipients can use it immediately to assess your where you are at the moment. And it's key to self-assess yourself. It's key to self-assess everybody, you know, myself. It's always good to keep on looking at yourself to see where you are. So this is great too, and this can be accessed by our, our um, members. I just want to finish off with the human touch, and I would like to then share a, a quote with you now. <clears throat> You know, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of things in in the in the market. You know, the robots are here. The robots are taking over our jobs, and you know, you know what's going to happen. But you know, the the simple answer, you know, when people ask about you know our robots here to taking over our jobs, you know, the simple answer is I just smile and say, well, who is programming the robots? Yes, you all got the question right. It's it's the human being. So the robot cannot think analytically. And in my, in my life, there's not going to be a robot that can think so much. Only the human brain can think so much. Only the human brain can think strategically, analytically, to understand that this is the right solution for this particular problem. A robot cannot go through that process at all. So the CMA certification helps you think in a critical way and helps you identify and solve problems analytically. So this is something that you need to work with. Uh, the certification is, and any certification is not magic. You need to work and invest your time. And I would like to finish off with a, with a quote of uh, uh, a famous footballer that all Egyptians around the world love. Uh, he's a good footballer for sure. Um, and he says, always believe in your ability and in your goals. So I read uh, Mohammed Salah's stories when he was younger as well. How we used to travel very, very early in the morning. We used to, you know, we used to catch number of uh, buses, number of transports. But again, he had the right motivations. He had the right skills to be successful. And this, for you, ladies and gentlemen, is about shaping your career and shaping your career where you have enough kind of education, enough certification that can complement what you're doing at your, your university. So. Mohamed Salah is, is, is your idol. Uh, I know that he's, he's, he's playing in the Premier League. Um, so yeah, you follow in the, in the, in the, in the footsteps of, of somebody that can achieve goals in life. Um, and and you know, sometimes the, the goals in life is going to be a little bit challenging, but we are here to, to accomplish our challenges. Thank you so much. And we will start answer, answering some questions. Now. Thank you. I want to thank you, Richard, for okay. this a very nice uh, um, presentation, and I think it was very successful and informative. I hope the students got all what you have said. There was a lot to know and uh, understand, um, but I th but it was really very well done. Thank you very much. Richard. 
I also think Thank that you. the case Thank study, you. the case study is very. I think this yeah, Dr. Hallam. Yeah, we need your support. We need your support on that as well. It's uh, it's it's very very interesting, and we're we're really going to stretch the boundaries and the competition of the students' thinking as well. So they're going to be they're going to be really keen to know that they're going to be competing against many many teams around half of the world in a way. There is a there are a couple of uh, slides that I will need, uh, like the one on the competition. There is another one with the prices. So there are a couple of uh, slides that I will ask you for later. Uh, I also want to thank Haysam because um, he explained clearly the uh, the pricing and the the, the uh, scholarship and the. Thank um, you, Dr. Thank, thank you. you very much. I'm looking forward to see you soon, inshallah. Inshallah. In Egypt, yeah. And and I can see uh, Ali. I think he. Um, he asked if I register as a student member, and once I um, graduate, do I have to pay the regular member again? Um, yes. So once you uh, register as a student, okay, uh, you will be actually treated as a student. So once you graduate from the university, you will be treated as a professional. But it depends on the cycle. So let's say uh, if you register by the end of uh, or you're just in the second semester of the last year. So anyway, your membership will be as a student till the next year. So you don't need to change it at this time. Um, يعني لو ال membership valid لمدة سنة. Uh, إحنا هنستنى غط لما السنة تخلص وبعد كده تبقى uh, تبقى professional يعني مش على طول مش once in uh, you are finished your studying and then you have to change it. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Aisam. Um, we've also got a question from, uh, I believe, Ahmed Awad. Or has that been answered already? Yeah, Ahmed. What was the question? Uh, please, no, it's, it's, the chat box is uh, small for me. I don't know. I don't see. It. Okay, so basically, Ahmed is saying, uh, "What if this is my last semester and oh, yeah. I registered?" Yeah, you found it. Yeah, yeah I have answered this one. Yes. Ah, you've answered it. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. So we'll just. I don't think there's any other questions for the moment. We cannot see any other questions. Um, okay, so. Uh, هو <تصفيق> 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 <تصفيق>
Can you see the question? What is the question? It says, after finishing the two parts exam, should the two years of experience be two consecutive years in order to take the certificate? Yes, yes. Um, yes, how am I food and anti? عشان تاخدي السيرتيفيكت او تاخدي الاوفيشال سيرتيفيكت من الاي ام اي انت يو هاف تو سبمت تو كونتينيوس ييرز اوف اكسبيرينس ان ذا اكاونتينج اور ذا فاينانس لو ليتس سي مثلا برضو عشان وي وونت كومبليكيت ذات ماتش بت ليتس سي اف يو هاف ا سمول جاب يو هاف ا 1 يير اوف اكسبيرينس اند ذن يو هاف ا سمول جاب اند ذن يو ستارت ذا نذر جوب فور 1 يير ما فيش مشكله ذير از نو بروبلم يعني uh, we will consider it in here two years. Thank you, Aysom. I think there's no no other questions. Wait a minute, there's... Well, oh, okay. Okay, when I open the IMA website to register, where can I get a discount? Okay, yes, so I, will, I will mention that, yes. Uh, once you open the IMA uh, website, first you will enter all the information. Uh, the university name, all your personal information, and then you will have actually the option to uh, apply the discount because once you just say you will enter the information of Egypt. So by default, the website will take you to another page and it has a blue banner. This blue banner, you just need to apply a discount. The blue banner says you are eligible for a 50% discount. This is by default then you just need to click on that one and then you will get the 50 percent discount so you have to see that the amount is discounted before you make the payment you have to uh, be sure that the amount is already discounted so you'll see the full amount and then you will see the discounted amount so to make sure that you already got the discount it, it's very easy and if you have any problem when you're registering you just contact us before you make the payment to make sure that you is, is this discount for a limited time or is it uh, yani, uh, uh, a continuous or uh, well, a long period uh, discount yes, yes dr muhammad this discount at least till the end of this year okay okay uh, to be fair i'm not sure if we are going to extend this discount the next year or not this is something uh, will be discussed uh, okay. with the team um, but at least for that the end of this year till the 31st of December, the discount is still on. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. There is one, there is one more question from Abdul Rahman. He's yes. asking what are the places that help in training for the exam in Egypt? Okay. Yes, Dr. Hala, I will, I, I have the link ready. Sorry, Ishi, for interrupting you. I have the link ready. I will share it in the chat room. So Perfect. it has actually the approved course providers in Egypt. This is actually our approved providers in Egypt. Uh, we cannot actually recommend. Uh, we have all them approved in our list. So what we advise the candidates always to check with them. So they visit the testing center to know about more about the, the timing, the instructors. So the, the candidates like has to make some effort to find the right place and the right timing, everything. So I will just now uh, share the link of the approved providers. Perfect. Yes. And I think as well, uh, students as well, if we've not answered uh, all your questions, you can contact uh, IMA Middle East, you can contact myself, Dr. Hala, Dr. Mohammed. They, they, have my, uh, they have my email, in fact, I'll just write it here. Uh, just in case that you you want to ask any further questions, um, but you know do do take it seriously the CMA because it's a wonderful certification, uh, a wonderful certification and lots of benefits for for you as a student with the with the prices the reduced prices plus you're already in the academic side so you know preparing for exams is very easy for you if I start to prepare for exams now at my age I'll find it very difficult. So you're in a better position than, than I am. So do take it kind of, uh, do take it seriously. Thank you. Hi Sam, did you share with us the link for the uh, places that we can, that can help yes, students? In the, yes, in the chat room, doctor. I'm not sure if you can see it now. I already. No, no, I, I cannot. No. 
Now, this uh, is why I'm asking. I think, I think I, uh, it's, this was shared to all the attendees, but ah, okay, yeah, yeah. Because, okay, it is now. Uh, yeah, okay. I will share it with you now as well, Dr. Muhammad. Yeah, because I okay, shared it with you. all the attendees. There's an option to the panelists as well. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, Any other questions? Yes. Mm. Any other questions? Okay. You've got it now. I don't think. Yes, I don't think anybody else have any question. But uh, actually, I would like Yani to thank you very much, uh, Richie, Haytham, and Jade for that uh, informative, uh, Yani presentation. Actually, every time I'm, I'm I'm attending that presentation, I'm enjoying it to the maximum, Yani. So, uh, thank you very much, and I would like to Yani see you inshallah soon when uh, all the things become Yani uh, fine again. Yeah.